thank you for clicking on this video. If you're new here, my name is Dale. This channel is Flippin' Fiasco, and I am a part-time reseller on eBay, Poshmark, Mercari, and Facebook Marketplace. I am not a morning person, <laughs> hence the look today. But uh, it is a Saturday at the end of May, and it's beautiful, and we have limited yard and with a limited yard sale season here in Pennsylvania, I need to take advantage of it. Also, one of my high school classmates put out on Facebook that she is having a yard sale today. And she was like a fashionista and also worked for Sorelli, the jewelry company for a while. So I think she's going to have fantastic items. And so that is what got me out of bed this Saturday morning. Let's see what we can find that we can flip for a profit. it turns out that my high school classmates garage sale is next weekend <laughs> so I pulled up to the house and I was like um it's all closed up <laughs> so I like, sent her a message and I was like oh it's all closed up I, I, is this a private sale <laughs> and then I reread her message later and was like oh my god it's next weekend I'm so sorry but there were some community yard sales going on so I figured as long as I was up out and about let's check them out and see what we can find to flip for a profit the very first place that i pulled up to had a lot of stuffed animals so, so a big shout out to emily conway and the cajun reseller chris for all of your plush knowledge sorry my dogs are playing back there really why as soon as i turn the camera on in any event, so I started looking at the plush and saw that she had like one section that was all like nothing special plush. This other tarp had all build a bear. All build, all. I mean, there were, there, there had to be about 50 build a bear bears. And then she had clothing there too. And they were priced, the bears were $4 and the clothing was a dollar. So, I started going through it, I was overwhelmed. I was like, oh my God, I want it all. <laughs> um, but then what I did was I picked out some My Little Pony, hoping that they will do well for me. This was, you know, without looking anything up, but you can see there, there, Build-A-Bear, My Little Pony. So I got the, this white pony. And then I saw this cute um, pirate guy that still had his clothes on, $4, so I decided to get him. Oh. Dogs! Another My Little Pony. And I thought this guy was too cool to pass up, this tie-dyed bunny. So yes, all of these are Build-A-Bear. And then, so, you know, four times four is 16. So I thought, well, let me at least get four things of clothes. Uh, to round my total up to 20. But so this whole set of Hello Kitty $1 clothes. Um, here we have, I think this might be fly. Yeah, it's the flyers. So, you know, I'm in Pennsylvania. So they have flyers and eagles. So I got eagle, I think I got two sets of eagles, like cheerleader um, costumes. Is this one? No, this one's football. So I have the football player and the cheerleader. So I'll probably sell those together. Um, and then some cars, clothing, and Spider-Man. <laughs> so I went like with the character things. So then I went back to my car and I thought, I wish that I knew which ones are really worth good money. So I checked on eBay's sold listings to see and then sorted by high to low to see which ones have sold for high. Now I know some of these prices might be inflated, but I just started looking and trying to remember what I saw and thinking, did I see any of these there?
I did. <laughs> Specifically this guy. And there were two of them because then I started talking to the, the woman and she said that her mother bought, she had two girls and her mother would buy them build a bear. Like for every year, every, every celebration, she bought them build a bears. So that's why there were two of those and two of these. I know they're they're slightly different. Um, I'm not sure why. So I need to look these up a little more. This guy has actually the build a bear on his paw, and this one does not. He has a, a miscellaneous sticker down there. And again, then I was at 16, and I thought, well, I'll just get one more bear to round it up to 20. And this guy, his paws are magnetic, so he like is a hugger. Isn't he cute? So I was very excited by that plush haul. Then I went to the house next door to them and I saw this fantastic, huge plush that I just couldn't resist. <laughs> Look at this thing, he's so huge. I don't even think he'll fit in the frame. Okay, yes he does. Um, so this is a Melissa and Doug. He still has his tag on. He's in fantastic condition, winged dragon. And I paid $8 for him. And it looks like he's selling for about 50 to $60. At first I was like, no, I think I'll pass. And I walked across the street as I was looking him up and I was like, and then I circled back and said, actually I am gonna take him. All right, so then I continued on to another yard. I mean, there were a bunch of yard sales going on. And once I get going, I'm like, ooh, <laughs> so excited. Um, so then this is the last place I stopped at because I was like, I just need to stop. I have stuff to list. I didn't even need to pick anything up but I just can't help myself. I did get these two bags of Polly Pocket for $5 total. And from what I understand, Polly Pocket sells pretty well too. And then I got these Red Wing Steel Toe Shoes. Um, this is not their box, um, but they look to be in great condition, Red Wings. Um, so we'll see what those are worth. And last but not least, here's a shout out to Kevin, Commonwealth Picker. I saw that copper bottom and had to check it out. So it's a double broiler Revere Wear that needs to be cleaned up, but I have some Barkeeper's Friend, which I'll use. And this set me back $2. <laughs> and I looked it up and it might only go for about 20, but I'll still take that. So how do you think I did? Should I have kept going? <laughs> um, I'm really curious to see how these Build-A-Bears are gonna do. So I have to go, I have to start listing. <laughs> 
So thank you for checking out my garage sale haul and I will catch you next time.